The NBA went through a crazy whirlwind of drama this summer in the free agency period. With this change in the landscape of the NBA, we the fans were craving some basketball action but were left hanging as the NBA season starts in a couple of months. Thank goodness for the FIBA World Cup. This presented some much needed drama filled basketball during the summer. But is this just an international contest or could this tournament potentially impact the upcoming NBA season? In this edition of Psycho Pass, Shoot, Score, I'll be taking a dive into the FIBA World Cup and giving you three reasons why the FIBA World Cup will have a massive impact on the NBA regular season. Firstly, we have the Boston Celtics. Their core of Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart and Jason Tatum all played on the USA team and I think this will have a profound effect on their cohesion as a team in the NBA regular season. Team cohesion is like an onion, there are many layers to it and by having this time to gel, get to know each other, train and get in-game experience, this will form the basis of their cohesion as a team. With there being many changes within the NBA this summer, the time this core has on the USA team will give them a head start over multiple teams. A lot of teams over the summer host unofficial camps and do stuff like have dinners to get to know one another. This develops a certain type of team cohesion known as social cohesion, but what team is able to get in-game experience against other NBA and international elite competition? No one and I believe this will help the Boston Celtics have a successful regular season. Next, we have the Greek freak, Giannis Atetekumpo. And what's truly freaky about Giannis is that he's coming off an MVP season and I believe he will be a better, more complete player this upcoming season. I know, I know, it's crazy. But if you look at his games in the FIBA World Cup, you can actually see improvements. Although his stats of 14 points, 8 rebounds and 2 assists don't pop off the screen, what does pop out is the developing maturity in his game. We knew that he was a beast in transition and good luck trying to stop him getting to the basket. But what looks like he's developing is his understanding of how to get to his spots for easy shots and the fluidity and confidence with his jump shot. Confidence is like a savings account. For long term gain, keep it steady. And if he's able to establish a steady stream of confidence with his jump shot, combining that with the extraordinary tools he already has, every NBA team is in a world of trouble. And lastly, we have New York Knicks guard Frank Nilakita. This may not have a profound effect on the NBA overall, but more on his individual career. Although the first few years of his career in the NBA have been uh, lackluster, he has shown signs in the FIBA World Cup of the player he could become. Being a defensive pest, operating like a surgeon in the pick and roll, and overall doing the little things needed to create winning basketball. What has struck me as different with Frank is his mindset. It looks like he's starting to take the mental steps towards being a more aggressive player and this was an area a lot of people have criticised him on. Becoming more aggressive starts mentally with increasing the intensity in all your actions like locking up your opponent on defence or trying to get to the basket on offence. It seems like he's starting to make that mental switch which would open a lot of doors for him offensively and be a massive addition to the good bones he already has as a young and upcoming player. So there you have it. Those are my three reasons why the FIBA World Cup will have a massive impact on the NBA regular season. This summer has been one for the record books and with the FIBA World Cup coming to a close now, I don't know about you, but I am ready to see some crazy highlights, rivalry games, and everything the 2019-20 NBA season has in store. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more mental skills, anime, and sports topics.